Oh man, Neo Geo sticks sure are expensive. I wonder if we can save some money and make me own. And after about 10 minutes of research later, it turns out you can. And best of all, it's bloody simple. It requires a basic soldering skill. For this, you can buy a set of joystick and buttons, but I'm lazy, so I just bought a pre made set. I could have gone for a slightly cheaper six button model, but I wanted the four button layout like with Neo Geo joysticks. And while you're at it, pick up one of these Neo Geo extension cables, because this is pretty much the key part you need. Also make sure it has the correct wires on the inside. This can be hard to tell just by looking at a photo of one. Fortunately some sellers actually include a photo of what it looks like split, because you kind of need to know which colour cable is which. And next comes the fun part, unscrew your joystick and split every single cable. The tricky part is figuring out which cable is the ground one. Fortunately for the one I got, it actually tells me on the button, saving a lot of arsing around and calling it a cunt. Now comes the cluster fog, because you need to solder every single ground cable together into this kind of mess. Not pleasant to look at, but people can't see the inside of the joystick anyway. Then cut the correct end of the Neo Geo extension cable i.e. not the bit that you plug into the machine because that would be stupid wouldn't it yeah it would be stupid then take the guide and solder every single cable into place this is the most time consuming part of it make sure to wrap every single cable afterwards because you really don't want these touching unless you want ghost inputs which nobody likes that and before you close it all up give every single button a check make sure everything's right then close it up and have a go also, if like me, you bought a pre-made joystick, you might want to take out the four buttons you're not going to use and buy some caps for them. Although make sure they're the screwing ones because the ones I got kind of rattle out a bit. I fixed it with a bit of hot glue, you know, because I'm a boxer like. Future improvements, I'll probably get some coloured buttons. You know, the S and K colours. Overall, this is a pretty easy build and it probably cost me about 20 quid in parts. And best news of all, I no longer need to use the Neo Geo CD controller. Which, while nice, it's not good for a lot of games that require a lot of quick movement. Even if it does have one of the best D-pads ever. It's so new, it's still got the cellophane on the buttons. Ooh. Feels good. Ooh, baby, this is appealing. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Was it good for you as well, lass? <laughs> <laughs>